Hey guys, Padun79, and I'm back with another review. So, uh, for, for what I got for you today is a, a review on a clock. This is an atomic clock. Uh, this is something I wanted for a long time because most of my clock that I have always, you know, lose a little bit of time from time to time. <laughs> There's one I got like a, uh, a alarm alarm clock radio that's just losing like half an hour every six months. So. This thing is crazy. So I wanted a couple of good clocks. So I got myself an atomic clock. I got a couple more atomic clocks that I'm going to review. Well, actually one more that I ordered, like three of them. But that's for another review. So I just want to show you guys the clock real fast. Show you guys the features of the clock. So you got time, date, temperature. So this is the inside temperature. Uh, you got that little uh, radio uh, tower here that's uh, saying that it's receiving a signal. You got the zone for your time zone, so Eastern, for me it's Eastern. So uh, just as a reference guys, uh, this clock, uh, I live in Montreal, well, close to Montreal, maybe 20 miles north of Montreal, and the radio signal is picking up. So uh, this is from Colorado that the radio signal is being emitted from. So this thing is picking up the signal uh, all the way up to uh, Canada. Uh, and you know close to Montreal so as a reference if you guys you know want to purchase this clock you don't think the signal is gonna make it uh, the signal made it. so for me the signal took a little bit of time I thought it was defective at first uh, the first time I turn it on it did not receive a signal for the first 10 minutes so uh, but you know I was almost gonna give up and return it but I just waited uh, all night I just programmed it manually waited all night and the next morning when I came back, it synchronized. So uh, I had the uh, little uh, receiving signal and it synchronized. And it did that for my second atomic clock that I bought, which is gonna be in a future review. It did the exact same thing. So if it doesn't synchronize right away, just wait a couple of hours and it's gonna synchronize. So let me show you guys the features of the clock. So this is an alarm clock as well, but this is more of a wall clock that you have a little uh, you know, stand that you could put for uh, putting on the table but let's see the button so you got a set alarm changing the zone for Eastern uh, you know, Central and stuff like that Celsius and Fahrenheit uh, a search function for the radio signal and a snooze button for the alarm so but for the alarm the snooze button is on the back of the clock so if you got it on the stand you're gonna have to reach all the way back at the clock to um, to deactivate the snooze so it's not really useful but it's got the function uh, for a uh, for a clock. So you got you see th there's little legs on the back here. So uh, if you want to put the clock down uh, on the table or something, which I have it set up uh, for me, so you get just place it there, and it's nice and stable. It stays there, and you can see the clock. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, the synchronization, the synchronicity of uh, the clock compared to the uh, website. So I got my iPad here. So this is time.gov. So let me just show you guys for the synchronization. So that's the time you see the seconds. This is synchronized perfectly. So this is excellent. This is this is what I wanted. So I wanted an atomic clock, especially to get the most accurate time because some of my clocks that I have just lose a couple of minutes, and sometimes it's half an hour. So I got some cheap freaking clock so I want to get, get myself a good clock so uh, basically guys that's it so um, you know nice little atomic clock for the money I uh, paid thirty five dollars I think for this one thirty two dollars so uh, you know really cool uh, really nice little clock uh, you know it's gonna serve me hopefully for a couple of years and have you know always be on time uh, this thing uh, sets itself up automatically for time date uh, even for daylight savings time so this is gonna readjust itself automatically for daylight savings time so uh, which is amazing so uh, nice little clock from lacrosse technology I don't think I show you guys the model number on it but the model number is on the back here if you guys want to see it uh, WT-8005 so uh, from lacrosse technology so you have different models you have the model with inside and outside temperature uh, which you got a remote probe that you can put outside to get the outside temperature as well uh, I don't see that very useful because I just open up my phone and I got the temperature on my phone so uh, but anyways guys a nice little clock I give it a um, 
solid 9 out of 10. Uh, there's a couple of features like the alarm clock that was really necessary and they could have put a uh, different uh, snooze button on the front somewhere or on top so uh, you know there's a couple of features that are not really useful in the clock but for me it's just a tell time and I just want something that's precise that's got the right time and you know I'm not gonna wake up and I'm gonna be like half an hour late because my clock is just desynchronized or out of whack so Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little review. If you did, give me a little thumbs up. Always appreciate it. And i catch you guys on the next one.